All right, I'm going to verify that my audio levels are okay. I don't, I don't know how this does this. It doesn't use the thumbnail I told it to use, so whatever. I forgot to change it out. I can change it later. All right, sounds like our audio levels are fine. So today, uh, people had asked me to show like updated results on uh, how well my RTM model is doing for um, for DeepFace Live. Last time we tested it, it was at like 1.35 million iterations, and this is only like you know 250,000 iterations in the life of uh, you know some of these things isn't that many, but improvements have been made. So uh, without really burying the lead or holding on to this too long here, I'll show you what I'm getting at. So right now you should just be seeing me as I normally look. I'm gonna change this to Arnold and like the side profiles are much improved over what they were doing. I mean, it's still not perfect from there, but I'm kind of close to the camera too. And uh, something I discussed in the previous video in the comments was that like normally, like the size of what you're seeing right now on your screen, I've blown it way up in the, in the window. So like you can kind of see imperfections and so forth, but it's a lot smaller than this. Like normally I'd have it like in the bottom right corner of the screen if you're live streaming a game or something. And so this will appear a lot sharper and be more forgivable, uh, you know, for imperfections. But he's looking much better. See, he was tired before in orange, but now after some more training, he's turning out better. The lighting in here, I'm in my living room uh, before I, I think I was upstairs and I did this. And so I have different lighting. It's coming in from outside. It's natural light. And it seems like that really works well with it. Uh, but you can do stuff like this. You can put on the hood and then you are in the hood, see. And actually almost change like like his eyes change a bit based on the light, which is sort of interesting. And I've kind of got the orange thing going on again a bit a bit more. But it's definitely improved. The teeth are still pretty good. Still can't give him the wink. Like uh I would almost have to add more I need to find more source material, I guess, if I want to try to improve it any further in that regard. Because I don't think I have anything where Arnold is winking one eye or the other. He's you know, he can blink, but he can't wink. But Ah, uh, I get pretty good. Ah, uh, yeah, it still needs time. Depending on the angle, um, it's kind of hard to get the camera, like, right in front of me. I've got it, like, just sort of sitting on my mic. Hello. You know, my mouth has got big teeth in it. <laughs> I'm going to bite off your head if you get too, too close. Plus, my cat's back there sleeping, see? He's very tired. He's, he's eating too much turkey. Tryptophan really does a job on cats. You're not going to like how it turns out. I just uploaded that um, Liar Liar video a minute ago. Uh, somebody requested that I do the bathroom scene for that where like he's beating the shit out of himself. So that turned out pretty good. Um, so if people have questions about like, there's like splotchiness in the colors and stuff in the video. And the reason for that is because every time I make a deep fake and I add one to the video uh, and you produce it, it becomes an MP4 file. And then when you have that at the end there, you take that and then you rename it DST underscore, uh, I'm tired, sorry, uh, data underscore DST dot MP4. And then you start over again and you extract all the frames out and then you look for the next guy you want to mess with. So the first one I did was Arnold in the bathroom, but then there's the mirror and I had to also do that. So that's a separate time you run through it. And then the third time I added uh, people in the courtroom um, there's the, I'm not going to ruin who are always in there. So you have to look to find the different deep fakes that I've added, but there are many there. Uh, you can see Morgan Freeman, for example, is the bailiff. That one is obvious. So I'm not, I'm not bury the lead on that one, but Morgan Freeman is in there. And then there are people in the audience and different characters that I've added, but there's five total. And plus, like I say, I had to run Arnold twice because there's the mirror. And it can't do both at the same time if you are manually extracting your faces. So, consequently, that's really six times it went through, and it did lose quality. So there's color problems and some pixelation, but overall it looks pretty fine. The faces look good enough, you know. See, so it it, it is. You watch it. You decide what you think if it's good or not. But that said, uh, the point of this video was just to show progress on the two twenty four resolution. RTM model, as you can see, it is vastly improved, in my opinion, in just a short period of time. 
Uh, and this is really, I haven't even looked at it as much as I wanted to because I was doing the Lion Eye video and I can't dedicate the computer to do things at the same time. It just doesn't work. So consequently, um, I wasn't training it or it would probably be over 2 million by now. But 1.6 seems to be doing pretty well and we will continue to train it. Uh, I want to see like 4 million sometime, but even 2, 2.5 million, I think we'll get to the point where we will see a lot of diminishing returns and I will have to decide if it's worth bothering to train it any further for the purposes of screwing around with Arnold in video game videos. But that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have questions on how to do this, uh, I kind of covered it in the last one when I first tested this, but uh, if there are questions or you need links to files on how to do this or a tutorial from the developer, I have the links to all those things saved. I've bookmarked them all so I can easily supply them for you. That said, thank you for watching. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel because we will continue to mess around with all kinds of stupid things here. Uh, I'm still trying to build a Z690 system with the Alder Lake 12900K processor, but you cannot get the RAM. The, the DDR5 is impossible. It's all bullshit, all of it. So that said, thank you for watching the channel, and I will talk to you guys again in the very near future. Have a great day.